Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the parameter data in web technologies. In the previous video, I explained about what exactly the parameter data is. Now let's see some of the HTTP servlet request method for accessing the parameter data. I want to access this parameter data. Okay, so for that, there are some HTTP servlet requests are there. I already explained the parameter data is present in the HTTP. Okay, it's uh, the most frequently used portion of HTTP request called as a parameter data whatever the most frequently used portion of http that is parameter data so some http servlet request or let's see that so it's nothing but the parameter data so the different types of parameter data and what is the purpose of using that parameter data the first one is a string get query string string get query string so what this means so whenever this type of method is there this type of http servlet request method is there for, for accessing the parameter it returns the entire query string in its original url encoded form so which was which is in the original uh, url encoded form without decoding okay encoded form will be uh, appeared okay so string get query string means returns the entire query string in the original form. Just it just re represents the original string. Next method enumeration for sorry enumeration get parameters name enumeration get parameters name. So what's the use of this method? It is going to return the enumeration of string values representing all parameter names including your uh, means it is uh, decoding the url in the query string so string get query string means it's returns the original form url encoded and here it is going to represent all parameter names that is the url decoded in the query string another method of the http serverless request for accessing the parameter data is string get parameter so you have to write that string name whatever the string get parameter you are calling that string name you need to be right here it returns a string representing the value url decoded so which is the decoded form returns a string representing value of parameter named name or null if parameter is not present in the query you if you want if there is a name you write the name or otherwise you just simply write it null if parameter is not present in the query string, you just write uh, empty. The next method is string get parameter values and the string name. It returns array of string representing all values that is the URL decoded values of parameter name name or null if parameter is not present if the in the query string. So here it is uh, returning the string. Here it is returning the array. I am I'm representing string like this. Okay. So, here it, re it returns the array and here it returns the string. So, the, these are the different two methods. The HTTP servlet request method for accessing the parameter data. So, let's see one of the example for this, uh, how this parameter data is accessing. For accessing the parameter data from a servlet. From a servlet, we need to access the parameter data. Let's see. The body of do get method of servlet prints this creates a web page display two paragraphs. Okay, suppose I want to print two paragraphs. So the first paragraph containing the query string of the URL used to access the servlet. Whatever the query string of URL, the URL like www dot something URL is there. So in that uh, after uh, question mark, after question mark a path will be there. So the first containing the query string of the url this is a string i want to be accessed okay so the query string of the url user to access the servlet that has to be printed in the first paragraph and the second contains the either the url decoded value so whatever the suppose whatever the percentage that is given plus and 27 plus some value so this is all in, in the form of encoding but i want the decoded value decoded value means a name or a value I need to be right instead of writing the alphanumeric characters instead of writing alphanumeric I uh, in the second containing either the URL decoded value of the augment parameter or the default text like hello world has to be written 
so a web page consisting of two para uh, two paragraphs one first contains the complete url in the encoding form and next is in the decoding so how i am going to print by just calling the do get method of a servlet which prints the creates a web page displaying two parameter uh, paragraphs so this will be the output so here print this dot java so there i am just calling the get, do get method so in the do get method uh, there are two paragraphs i have written the first paragraph and the second paragraph that i need to be printed on the screen so the first paragraph is uh, containing the query string the query string of the url used to access the servlet so i want to whatever the query string that you had written that i that is used to access the servlet with the help of this arguments argument is equal to 20 percentile 27 a plus string percentile 27 and color is equal to red so this means this decoded form has to be print in the second paragraph so 20 percentile 27 a so the a is the string and here the string percentile 27 means a string so a is in here and this is a string and this everything should be in color red so this is the color red which is printed So this is how you are going to access the HTTP servlet request method for accessing the parameter data. Okay, so this is an example for accessing the parameter data from a servlet by using the do get method. Thank you.